I guess I'll start with the Denver games, I guess. I don't know. It's not that it's not that long of a game. I'll just we'll start with the third rep match, uh third game of the match. So I already put it in the study, so that's very helpful. Um I let me turn the music down. Um so I was black. I showed this game to Dennis and Pavlikich already, I think. So they'll they've already seen it, but okay. So E4, C5. Might have three. This is not what he normally does. He normally plays a London, so I was like, what is going on here? And, you know, he doesn't, like, know theory. So... Then he played bishop e2, and I was like, oh, okay. Um... And he, he wants, a, like, a Philidor. The plus 12 incident, yes. Hello, YouTube. So he's just, you know, not really doing anything. I decided to castle and get my pieces developed. And he's just, he's just playing a Philidor, sort of. So, um... I played rook b8. Maybe this is not completely necessary, but I was sort of concerned about if I play b5 right away, I was concerned about d4. Um, maybe like, I don't know, I just, I didn't really feel like going into this. I thought rook b, he, he's, rook b8 is fine. It could be a useful move in the future anyway, but I just wasn't so sure. Um, b3 is not a good move. Um, I just keep expanding on the queen side. My bishop is going to be a monster very soon. Um, bishop b2 is also, like, really bad, but, I mean, he played b3, so I guess he's gonna commit to this. Um, now I'm here and I'm thinking, okay, he put his dark squared bishop on this diagonal, and so now this diagonal is very weak and tender. So I wanted to take advantage of that. So I played knight h5, um trying to get like a king's indian type uh style attack that's what i want so g3 is like close to forced i have no idea what else you would do besides g3 then e5 preparing f5 and i'm very happy here because all of his pieces are stupid and bad and he's like refusing to leave the third rank as usual so knight h4 and at first it looks like okay i'm gonna have to go back but no i just play knight f f4 and i looked at him you know it's like what it's, what is this um so already he's in trouble he can't take because of queen takes h4 but if he i mean what is it's extremely hard for it for him to even find a move now i would i would hate to play this position so he, he plays knight f3 defending his knight and threatening to take my knight now so i play knight to e6 i think maybe this is okay too but I liked that I'm stopping him from ever playing d4 and just kind of keeping him in a just kind of a cramped position because now he plays the move knight g2 so he like fiancettles his knight which is always fun but when I mean his pieces are uncoordinated and not doing anything and his pawn structure sucks and I'm just gonna gain more space and kind of steamroll him so f5 he, he took on f5 which i mean i wasn't super surprised to see knight takes e2 is totally fine too it might even be better um but i would like to keep pieces on the board because he's he's kind of, i have more space and i'd like to attack him um but yeah knight takes e2 is fine um i i guess i'm not really sure why he plays this but it is hard to find a move otherwise now my pieces are just set up. I can put my bishop here or keep it here. It's like sort of developed on c8. Um, my rook can swing over if it's needed at some point. f4 is probably on the agenda, um, and it, he just can't really do much about it. He he played he played knight h knight f to h4. Just like okay, you just got one piece off that stupid square. Why are you putting another one there? I mean, my only. The only thing I can think of is he he wanted to somehow like get pieces in and attack me, but it's just not going to happen. <laughs> it yeah, it probably did, Nick, but I like knight e6 better. So now the problem with knight h4 is I just play knight g5, and he cannot stop knight h3 check. There's no way to stop this now. And if if he allows this, he's going to have to play king f1. And now f f4 is going to be even stronger. And his king is just stuck in the center, and he's gonna probably gonna get checkmated. I think computer wants f4 here, which is like such a hard move to play, I think. Because I'm still playing knight h3, and you're like purposely op like almost opening your king more. I'm not something like like this. I mean, he can't, he can't do this because of this. So I don't really understand what he's doing here. It's a weird computer move. It wants to, oh, it wants to play bishop f3. My knight's hanging. This is weird. <laughs> f takes g3 is funny. This would lose immediately. 
that's awesome. Can't move the knight because this, this knight is hanging still. It's just awful. Uh, that's that's the point. Um, so if he has to play f4, it's already like close to resignable if he has to play this move. He did not play f4. He played knight e3, which I don't. I mean, I thought that was just making things worse because now I'm also attacking a piece when I inevitably play f4, and then this isn't defended in some of these lines. But he gets his knight on d5, and it's like he gets like kind of a fucked up defense as usual. Um, where I have to play really um, accurately, and he, he, he like, I mean, he, he, I can't say that he didn't find a good defense, because it was interesting, but, um, so knight h3 check, king g2, takes, takes, rook f2, king h1, and in the postmortem, he was saying that he did not see how I was going to make progress here. He didn't see, like, what my next step was in my plan. It was interesting, but I just played bishop b7. And what do you mean you don't know what, what I'm doing? <laughs> the next step is, I think, so I think it's actually more accurate to play knight e7 first for this exact, I, you know, reason is that I'm not allowing his, his weird fucked up defense. With bishop e7 first, now he has bishop g4 move, which, you know, hangs a piece. But um, if I do this first, uh, he does not have this intermezzo. And in, in this position, I think I can take and play here and this is it's too late for this because it's already check so i missed that little nuance if you will but okay bishop b7 bishop g4 now knight e7 and he has he has this intermezzo check bishop e6 which you know it's like okay what do i do now my my knight is hanging and if i get rid of my knight my attack is close to over i should still be winning but I have this move knight g5. I'm attacking two pieces at once. So this looks resignable, right? But of course he finds he finds a, a little defense. Very obvious defense. A little Proclada. I met Mr. Proclada at the Denver Open. Um so so it looks like there's no way to defend these two pieces, but bishop to c1 is actually sort of, you know, it's making it very difficult for me. Because now if I take on e6, he has this move king g1. And now two of my pieces are attacked. I'm still completely winning here. But I, it gets complicated. So from this position, this is the line I looked at. I looked at queen f6, oops, queen f6, d takes e, rook f8, bishop, oops, the hell? Fuck, okay, queen, queen f6 takes, rook f8, bishop e3, and in this position, I was thinking I wanted to play bishop h6. So, and I, and I didn't really see a response for him. So this is what I went for. But then once we got to this position, I, I said, oh, but what about e7 after bishop h6? What about e7? And I looked at it for around five minutes. And I was having trouble figuring it out. It looked like I might actually lose if I'm not careful. So I stopped. I stopped looking at bishop h6 for a minute because I didn't want to do this thing where I just sit there for 15 minutes trying to make something work that doesn't work. Um, even though my intuition is telling me to do it, I said, okay, I'm not going to do that. This is how I lose games. I get into time pressure by doing this. I'm going to look for a different move to see if there's another move here because I have to be winning here. So I stopped looking at bishop h6 and I find this, this move, queen takes, oops, after bishop b3, I find queen takes h4 and, and I... I couldn't really find a reason why I shouldn't play queen takes h4. So since bishop h6 looked sort of unclear to me, I went with queen takes h4. Because he cannot take he cannot take my queen because it's mate. And then, you know, any anywhere really. Anywhere I want to put my rook. And that's mate. I mean, I can put my rook anywhere. but So he can't take my queen. But he has this kind of annoying defense of rook e4. I'm not sure what the time situation here was. Um, Rhett might know, he, I think he was writing the times, but I didn't have a lot of time left, and I didn't want to blunder in time pressure like I do every single game where I'm winning against Rhett and lose. So I was really trying not to do what I always do. But let's go back for a minute here and look at bishop h6 a little bit, in, in a little bit more depth here. So bishop h6 is actually plus 12 if I play bishop h6. My move was plus 2. And the move I wanted to play was plus 12. But I did not see the continuation after e7. But it's a very simple tactic. So so bishop h6, e7. Pause the video here, smile. And uh, f find the, the win for black in this 
in this position. I want to I want to quickly note that another idea of putting my pieces like this was if he makes uh, like a random move, then this would be <laughs> a forced mate. So let's keep that in mind. This idea that I saw. So after Bishop H6 and E7, there's just Rook F1, and this is incredibly frustrating because this is just mate in three. You know, it's just forced mate. And I stopped looking here because I did not see it um, from here. Because I did not realize that this would not be, like, defended anymore. So that was incredibly frustrating. Um, I did not realize this till later. Um, so, so now we go from that position, where, you know, I'm just checkmating him, to this position. Where I have, I don't know, I want to say five minutes with an increment, but I could be bullshitting there. I could have had more time. It just felt like that. I don't know. But I did not have much time here. And now I have to transition my mindset too from attacking and playing forced moves, only moves, into an end game where I'm up a pawn. And I'm sitting here incredibly angry and frustrated because I know I missed a win. I'm 100% sure I missed it. And I'm sitting there and I'm, I have no idea where I went wrong. And I'm just getting more and more upset. And I'm trying to think like, this can't be all that happens. This can't be it. Like I was thinking I would have to do this, but I think queen takes e6 is, is maybe better. Uh, I think it would be better for me and my time pressure to just go ahead and take this and play this endgame. But isn't that disgusting that that's, that's all I get out of that attack? That was very hard for me to believe. So I made sort of a, a really terrible decision. Um, I, I think that if I- by the way, I think that I can force a draw here if I want. Or no, 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 not here. No, no, he, he can get out of it. So yeah, rook f2 doesn't work, but I, I thought for a long time and I wanted to make d5 work because I, I wanted to do this and still- I was still trying to win in a forceful way, which I should not have been doing. I should have just realized, okay, I made a mistake, it's okay, the game is not over because I made a mistake. Um, and the line I looked at after d5 was d5, rook h4, queen f5, and I was thinking if he has to play queen f1, and then queen takes e6. This is this is pretty good for me. I'm happy here because now he has this pin he has to worry about. And I'm up uh, a pawn and I have this huge center and these monster bishops. So that's what I thought looked good. Um, but then when I got here, I realized that if I play this movie, it just goes here. So I'm like, okay, well, fuck it. I guess I'll just take this because fuck it. And I'm just like going, like my time's just going down and down and down. I don't get to think at all anymore. And I was expecting bishop c5, which is completely winning. I don't really understand why he didn't play this, um, but he played this move. And it's actually equal again now. h6, now bishop c5, rook f5, queen g4. And um, I do remember how much time I had here. I, I don't know how long I thought, but I remember looking over at my clock and seeing 5, 4, 3, and I played bishop c8 just because, I don't know, just I wasn't, basically wasn't allowed to think. And a few more moves were played, and I ended up resigning around- Or no, I didn't resign. I let him checkmate me. Uh, the the moves don't matter. I'm just trying to get- I remember I couldn't reconstruct it, because my score sheet- You can't read it, because I, didn't, I had no time, and it was all scribbly. But I just wanted to show, like, what the checkmate looked like that I let him do. Or no, it was- It was like- Oh yeah, I, I just walked into this checkmate because I wanted the game to be over, but I didn't want to resign to him because that would feel really disgusting. So I didn't do that. But anyway, so the lesson here for me in this game is I'm really not sure if I should take a lesson away from when I decided to stop thinking about bishop h6, even though my intuition was saying that there was something here. Because in another situation, there really might not be anything there and I could spend all my time, and then it, it just doesn't work. So it's tough to say if I should have kept thinking about it or not, or just played the move that I, you know, knew was winning for sure. I could, I mean, I, I definitely could have found Rook F1 if I kept looking, but I, I was trying to be practical, and I'm not sure about that. But uh, what I need to keep in mind is I need to be able to just play the position like it, I know it's very upsetting that this is what I got out of that huge attack I'm up a pawn and I have to play this I'm in time pressure, but I should still win and I don't know. 
I think the lesson I need to take away from this game is just... <laughs> I don't know how to word it, but so something something, you know, transitioning into an endgame is... There's still a lot of chess to play, and I can't just keep forcing things because I was. It's not how it works. It's no longer that type of position, and I can't keep playing the position like it is. I have to... I have to be able to change my mindset, um, quickly. But thanks for the 40 months, Kubli. So, this was the last game of the match because I don't really want to play the last game. And he already won it, so there's not really a point. Um, plus, we played another game in the Denver Open. But, yeah, that was that game. Really, really disgusting. Um, it was fun for me until, you know, the end. But I'm just glad I got to play this, this game because it was very interesting and I learned something. <laughs> I mean, Queen H5, H4 is still, a, like, a really cool move, but God, it's just... God, it's very frustrating. So, there you go. Put that on YouTube or something. Now we're gonna go ahead and transition into the next part of the stream, which is the Denver Open Games. I'm gonna catch up with chat. What is this watching without video? That's weird. Um, anyway. So this is like sort of a theme for my games. Can we see what Mr. Fish thinks of Knight Takes E2? I, I'm, I think I did, uh, like, look at- when I first looked at it, it wanted to play knight takes e2. I think that is the best move, Nick. Yeah, it says knight takes e2, best move, and then bishop g4. Ow. Um, and you know, this is- this is a good position. I will not argue that, but, uh, I just- I liked knight e6. I- I- I still sort of stand by knight e6, even though taking on e2 is plus two and a half about. And knight e6 is only plus one and a half. I just think this was more interesting. He wants to play like a3 here. But the problem- I guess the problem is that he- what he should be doing is playing bishop f1. And then my attack is not so strong anymore. Um, so you're- you're right. I should have taken on e2. I just don't like trading pieces. <laughs> it's like a style thing, I think. Um, but it is bishops, so I don't know. And I'm gonna open the position, so. It does make more sense, but I don't know. I think- I think it's okay, what I did. I know, a3. <laughs> or, or bishop f1 is also fine. But anyway, 